Hey guys, it's Cameron here. Today is Saturday, uh, January 7th. Got gaming news for you guys today. Um, let's go ahead and get started. It's rumored that the new Tomb Raider reboot from Square Enix will be delayed till 2013, but none has been official yet. We'll just have to wait and see if that is true. Hopefully not, because that game looks great, but it's whatever whatever happens happens we should have some good 2012 games releasing this year so yeah anyway moving on from that ufc undisputed 3 demo will be com coming later this month to xbox live and playstation network so if you're anticipating this game you'll be getting a little demo which is pretty awesome but the full game will be, re be releasing in north america february 14th and in europe february 17th moving on from that um, Nintendo um, uh, American President uh, Reggie F F Fuzime. I don't know how you pronounce his last game, last name, or whatever, but you know Reggie. Um, he usually talks at the E3 press conferences, but um, has been said that um, he will be on Spike TV on Tuesday um, for the um, CES 2012 to talk a little bit about Wii U. Um, as as has hasn't been said he, if he's gonna be sharing any new information or just to build up the hype uh for e through 2012 or just whatever just build up hype in general but we'll just have to wait and see but if you are interested in wii u or just curious or just whatever about wii u i suggest that um you go check out spike tv tuesday not sure what time but um yeah Anyway, moving on from that, Starhawk developer is rethinking DLC strategy, and it says it might be surprising. And what, from what I read in this article, it says they plan a bunch of free DLC that might be surprising. And he says um, some will, you know, cost. Um, plan content will cost and stuff, and they'll reveal more about their DLC strategy and um, the release date for the game. But they said the uh, they'll also release more uh, more details for the Starhawk public beta very soon, and uh, yeah, pretty cool. But moving on from that, David Jaffe, the person behind the new Twisted Metal game coming out pretty soon, he has said in I'm not sure if it was an interview, but this article is um is, says that he said that if you're planning to buy the new Twisted Metal only mo or mostly for a campaign. Uh, might I suggest a rental now very interesting that a developer suggests that you rent the game I mean just because of you know a component in the game but I mean hey that works I was planning on renting anyway but it's like you know he suggested it Bosa says here again I'm not knocking our campaign it's really the biggest and most favorite one we ever done but just want to set expectations and be super clear that the heart and soul of the title is all about the multiplayer i feel uh i have to do uh, that in this day of age of mega massive super amazing games that have uh, that have campaigns like batman on charter 3 and skyrim so Sounds pretty cool, but this game will be releasing in North America February 14th if you guys are looking forward to it. But I did hear there's a demo coming out for the game. Uh, no details on that. I think it was confirmed. I'm pretty sure it wasn't a rumor, but um, look forward to that. It'll probably be closer to release date, but just have to wait and see. But moving on from that, yesterday I talked about um, rumors of the next Xbox and next PlayStation to be revealed at the same time at the Nets E3. Now, Pactor, he has comment on this shenanigan. I don't know. No one says shenanigan. But <laughs> I just randomly thought that. But anyway, um, he says there's a 0% chance Sony will reveal PlayStation 4. And I don't know why, but when I see stuff from people that know their stuff, it's like I automatically believe it. It's like, uh, it wouldn't be right right when I saw this like yeah it wouldn't be right if they did announce PlayStation 4 but um in this article it says I think there's zero uh, zero chance of a tease for Sony for PlayStation 4 and only a 20% chance for Microsoft that they will tease the net at spots and neither console w is launching in 2013 so there's no reason to tease them in 2012 which makes sense um, so 2014 might be the year I mean yeah, but uh, if you're a Nintendo person you, and you could look forward to the Wii U this year, if it really does come out this year, I could kind of see getting delayed 
until like beginning 2013 but it's whatever i don't really care they're not really showing anything for me that even truly want the system but yeah that's actually about it for this gaming news hope you guys enjoy thanks for the support make sure to comment rate, and subscribe please leave feedback so i can make better videos better content just whatever be awesome if you guys could just leave feedback and yeah that's actually about it i'll chat with you guys later thanks for watching again see ya